This is no coincidence. This is a message from the divine realms above. Hare Krishna, everybody. I'm here lending out my books. You know I don't like to lend out my Hare books. Krishna. Every, Hare Krishna. Every, I got Hare it. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I don't lend out my books. She got it. I don't play. Why do you want to borrow that book anyway? Because I'm just interested in the tales of Arisha. Let me get that doll. All right. This is going Can you explain this doll? What's, what's this? Oh, we just selling dolls. You selling dolls? It's part of our business, yes. So if you want to get a doll, come hit us up. They're all different. It looks cultural. Yeah, it is cultural. You might have a spirit in there. You better put Not some cow cowrie shells <laughs> on the neck or something. You want to put a spirit in? You can put your own spirit in it. it oh, yeah? Good. Do what you want to do. I'll chant over it make it a Hare <laughs> Krishna doll. Make it a Hare Krishna doll. I can make you one. Hare Krishna doll. So tell me the science with this with this book with now. Like, doll, with this book, what, I don't yeah, know. what what attracts you about tales of the Orishas? Cause in my heart I feel like I'm one of them. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Wow, look at this page. Look at the page I turned on. Right? Forty three is Forty three it, it equals to seven. Well she deals with the power of magnetism. She's the goddess of love and stuff like that. You know, there she got go. that honey. And you know it's funny because honey, that represents what? Mod who? Mad, Ma, okay, Madhava is the husband of the goddess of fortune. And she has that honey aspect that's so attractive to all the demigods. So yeah, the purpose of that book is really to inform people about the African demigod system, Tales of the Orishas. It tells you like their powers and their tales, things that they did. And now Sister Bakhtin Talik, she wants to borrow my other book, right? So I'm going to lend this out. It's very, very hard to replace this Thank book you. you know what i'm saying look. that that book is like hundreds of dollars on amazon look, yes. from what i understand look look what look. Past life. now he never saw this book i never this is my painting that I, look how it's coming to me full circle yes. and i have no idea yeah. well let me ask you a question do y'all notice a theme look hold up the covers of both books hold up the cover black white and red okay that's jagannath's colors and red and black is as shoes colors wow so this is no now remember jagannath is a primordial deity he was already being worshipped in india from the time the first inhabitants got there the first inhabitants of india are called adi or primordial original vasi dwellers like vraj vasi is a there go jagannath jagannath swami nayama pathagami bhava to me so when these Adivasis, these primordial dwellers in India, they were of the African body type before mm -hmm. the modern Indians got there of today. Mm -hmm. And they used to worship Lord Jagannath, which is why the Hindus will tell you that Jagannath is not a Hindu deity. He's not secular. He's the worldwide universal Person. Lord Jagannath. So I think that there's something significant going on here with Eshu. Wow and Ganesha and all of these spirits of the doorway is introducing y'all to more and more things. So take advantage of that knowledge. That Jagannath right. book well, is like eating us. watermelon. You just blessed us. Yo, it's gonna be like eating watermelon. Well, I got two blessings. Look, yeah. I got, this was the first blessing last night. Yes. And I, and look, it came through you. I'm giving thanks. I said, I, And this one is coming through me too now. Yeah. Well, the Ankh, you see that Ankh is a sexual symbol too, you know? <laughs> All the time. Everything, yeah. everything in Egypt was very um, multifaceted, and the Ankh, although it's a key, it's also a life. symbol of of the sex organs. Like uh -huh. the circle is the womb, uh -huh. and then the penis comes down, uh -huh. and then the two testicles on the side. All of these things are ancestral archetypes. So you're gonna enjoy that book. I'm Trust enjoy me. This one. Yeah, all oh, that Jagannath book, this Nectar. Right this is Nectar. Y'all got the Nectar. Thank anything y'all want to say? Memories. Like y'all want to? You blessed us. I'm looking forward to the food. I feel hungry. Yeah. Like, it's like, ooh, I got a treat. <laughs> I can't wait to read. <laughs> no doubt. So, yeah, check that out. Absorb that information Thank and get you. them books back to me. I got y'all on YouTube. You know. Oh, I he got, got us people. on YouTube? Are you yeah. serious? You're going to be on YouTube oh my God. talking about books. <laughs> And talking about what returning my book in a timely <laughs> Oh my God, our brother got us on do we, do we understand? In the name of Krishna and Hare, all of all of them is why. Hare. Yeah, what's her name anyway, Lydia? She's not named. The owner will name her. Ah, uh, there it is. Good. We'll talk about that on the next video. Embodying spirits into material objects. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.